Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Joachim Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Sunday, January 16th, 2022, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from St. Peter's letter to the Colossians, chapter 3, verses 4 through 11. Brethren, when Christ, who is our life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, fornication, impurity, passion, evil, desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. In these you once walked when you lived in them, but now put them all away, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and foul talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old nature with its practices, and have put on the new nature which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Here, there cannot be Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free man, but Christ is all and in all. And today's gospel reading is from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 17, verses 12 through 19. At that time, as Jesus entered a village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. And he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then said Jesus, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. So today we continue to read from the prologue to Ukrid from St. Nikolai Belarmerovich, the readings for January 16th. But first we start with a poem. You remember St. Peter, the apostle, and most particularly his, his chains. We also remember the grandmother of Sipusius, Elupsius and Melupsius, their mother's or grandmother's name is Leonia. Leonia, a grandmother aged by the spirit, was made as powerful as a lioness. When she prepared her grandsons for God, she herself became a martyr. The tribune screamed to Leonia, hissing with bitter anger, Go, grandmother, to the dungeon and counsel your grandsons. Counsel them to deny the so called Christ God. Either they renounce Christ or they renounce their young lives. Leonia, in the dungeon, said to her grandsons, Do not be afraid of worldly powers, even though they burn you alive. Cleave to the glorious Christ and his gospel. For, he, for you, he has prepared an eternity of radiance and joy. Do not be afraid of bitter wounds, for they shall pass. Neither be afraid of death. Death can neither hide nor can hide not Annihilate. Death can neither hide nor annihilate those who are faithful to Christ. Three grandsons in the midst of the fire offered praise to God, while the evil one beheaded their de grandmother, Leonia. Today's reflection. Nothing crushes human pride, as does habitual obedience towards elders. In ancient Sparta, obedience was considered a great virtue. It is said that a Spartan soldier who was rushing into battle armed with a sword caught up with his enemy. At the precise moment when the Spartan was about to slay him, the trumpet sounded ended, ending the fighting, and he replaced his sword in the sheath. When someone who saw this asked him why did you not slay the enemy, he replied, It is better to obey the commander than to slay the enemy. Christian obedience differs from the Spartan obedience in that it is voluntary and has as its goal the salvation of the soul. In effect, it is not for the preservation of an earthly kingdom, but rather for attaining the heavenly kingdom. St. John the Dwarf began his ascetic life with a certain elder of Thebes. In order to teach his disciple obedience, the elder planted a withered tree in the ground and ordered the disciple to water it daily. For three years and without murmuring, John watered this withered tree until it finally turned green and brought forth fruit. This is the fruit of unmurmuring disobedience. The crucified Lord himself became obedient even unto death. 
and for today's contemplation. Contemplate the peace of the Lord Jesus, the peace which he carried in his soul, the only perfect peace bearer, the peace which he created among men, the only perfect peacemaker, the peace which he gave to his disciples, the only perfect peace giver. And may God bless you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.